So today we'll be doing a morning prayer from Wednesday of week three of the Earth Gospel by Sam Hamilton Poor, a really wonderful book. I recommend you get yourself a copy if you haven't got it already. And uh, uh, we will. this recording will be available uh, later today on the Citizens for Public Justice website, cpj.ca, as are all the recordings if you want to go back and look at them. So uh, one reminder that we will have uh, significant period of silence after the two readings, two minutes of silence. So we'll take a moment to center ourselves and then I'll begin. From Psalm 84, the sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. The scripture reading is from Job 12, verses 7 to 10. But ask the animals, and they will teach you. The birds of the air, and they will tell you. Ask the plants of the earth, and they will teach you. And the fish of the sea will declare to you. Who among all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every living thing and the breath of every human being. And here's a reading from Richard Adams called On Fly Fishing. There is the pressure of water on your legs as you wade the stream. There are all the subtle smells, the aroma of water itself, and then the smell of the emerging trees and shrubs. Then come the sounds, the bird song and occasional drumming of a grouse, and sometimes the call of a turkey. Added to this is the sound of the wind in the pine branches. Finally, there are the sights, the glint of sun on the water, the thousand dancing diamonds. Somehow, when you are in the water, animals don't recognize you as a person. You wade past deer lying along a bank without spooking them. You can touch their nose with the end of your rod. But nature is not tame. My Pennsylvania woods are populated with two varieties of poisonous snakes. That adds a dimension of danger. I suspect that God is not tame or entirely safe. 
We'll take a couple minutes to reflect on both of these readings. As we move into prayer time, we pray for peace in Ukraine, for the people of Ukraine and the people of Russia, for peace everywhere else around the world where there's fighting today, and for all those known to us who need our prayers. This prayer is attributed to Albert Schweitzer. Hear our humble prayer, O oh God, for our friends, the animals, especially for animals who are suffering, for any that are hunted or lost or deserted or frightened or hungry, for all that must be put to death. We entreat for them all thy mercy and pity. And for those who deal with them, we ask a heart of compassion, gentle hands and kindly words. Make us ourselves to be true friends to the animals and so to share the blessing of the merciful. Amen. Amen. And the blessing for today. May you experience today both the wideness and the wildness of God's grace in sun and sky, wind and water, animal and plant, and in the drumming of your own heart. Amen.